for Halifax. Minister thinks this is business as usual. Friday, we posed straightforward questions, and again, Conservatives refused to provide details about their role in the Senate PMO expense scandal. But my Duffy's lawyer today spoke at length and provided lots of new details. According to him, documents from the PMO outline how this involved, quote, cash for repayment. Can the Prime Minister confirm that his office threatened to kick Mike Duffy out of the Senate if he didn't go along with their scheme? clear that we expect uh, all parliamentarians to uh, respect uh, the letter and the spirit of any uh, rules regarding expenses, and if they do not respect that, uh, they can expect there to be consequences and accountability for their actions. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I will uh, just say this. Uh, you know, I've noticed, obviously, Mr. Speaker, the NDP's instant opposition to the Canada-Europe trade deal. And I guess, Mr. Speaker, the reason we see them asking these kinds of questions is because on the big issues, they're wrong. For Halifax. Again, no clear answer. Well, Mr. Speaker, Mike Duffy's lawyer, he says he's in possession of documents that implicate the Prime Minister. Hmm. So is the PMO really going to wait for Mr. Duffy's lawyer to release this evidence? Why won't the Prime Minister's office release all documents to the public relating to this matter? Once again, Mr. Speaker, of course, uh, we've given all information to those authorities who are looking into this matter, and we've been very clear. Uh, if anybody doesn't respect the rules, they will be held accountable. That is the standard Canadians expect, and that is what we will continue to do. The Honourable Member Mr. Speaker, the lawyer for former Conservative Senator Mike Duffy just said that the Prime Minister's office coached Mr. Duffy and provided him with lines for dealing with the media over the re repayment of his inappropriate expenses. Can the government confirm that this is the case? Very good. The right honourable Prime Minister. Once again, Mr. Speaker, we've made very clear here uh, today and before that uh, we expect we expect all senators, all members of parliament to respect rules regarding expenses in both letter and spirit. If they do not do so, there will be consequences and there will be accountability. That is the position of the government and that is how we will continue to act going forward. The Honourable Member for Halifax. Monsieur le Président, en décembre 2012, le chef du cabinet du Premier ministre a dit que plusieurs sénateurs avaient des arrangements similaires à celui de Mike Duffy. Le Premier ministre peut-il nous dire de quel sénateur il s'agit? Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Président, le Premier ministre a déjà répondu à toutes les questions sur ce euh, sujet. En même temps, Monsieur Wright a pris sur la responsabilité. Euh, nous euh, allons continuer euh, pour euh, aider les autorités. Mais, Monsieur le Président, nous avons mis sur la table beaucoup de réformes pour la Sénat et toujours l'MPD votait contre ces réformes. Mais quand il avait la chance, quand il avait la chance pour, mise, euh, pour demander change à la Sénat, qu'est-ce qu'on a demandé Six nouveaux sièges à la Sénat, Monsieur le Président. En anglais, je ne sais pas le mot en français, mais en anglais, c'est flip-flop. <rires> Monsieur le Président, le bureau du Premier ministre a-t-il indiqué à Mike Duffy de ne pas coopérer avec la vérification de ses dépenses faites par Deloitte Si oui, pourquoi euh, Encore une fois, Monsieur le Président, le Premier ministre a déjà répondu à toutes les questions sur ce uh, sujet, uh, Monsieur le Président. Mais vraiment, honnêtement, les NDP n'ont en fait, absolument pas de pied pour se tenir. Quand ils ont eu la chance de. to to uh, demand reform in the Senate, what did they ask for? They asked for six seats of their own in the Senate, Mr. Speaker. That's the reforms that they asked for. What Canadians are talking about right now is hope and opportunity, the same hope and opportunity that we're seeing through a new trade agreement with Europe, 500 million new people open to uh, Canadian uh, small business people, to our farmers, Mr. Speaker. That's good news for the economy and it's good news for all regions of this country.